Go ahead. Okay, so we have here a can with a little bit of water at the bottom, uh, which doesn't seem all that exciting, but when you heat it up, what happens is that the can fills up with water as a gas. Water as a gas takes up about 1,700 times less, uh, more volume than it does as a liquid. So the liquid water um, takes up very little volume, but I can expand that volume to 1,700 times the original volume by heating it up and turning it into a gas. And those calculations are here if you're interested in that. Um, also, you should know that atmospheric pressure is about 14.7 pounds per square inch. In uh, scientific units, that's one, uh, 100,000 newtons per square meter. If you calculate the square um, meters of the can, uh, you can figure out that the amount of force on the can comes to about 680 pounds. What do I mean by the force on the can? Well, what I mean by the force on the can is that uh, once I'm sure that it's full of uh, steam instead of air, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down into this beaker of water, and we can see what the power of atmospheric pressure can do. So let's just make sure that's full of steam. I think it is. So we turn off the gas. And we have an instantly crushed can, which has filled with water because the pressure inside was so much less than the pressure outside. So there you go, the power of atmospheric pressure.